Hello YouTube, just installed my um, 6,000 watt peak surge, um, 3,500 watts pure sine wave power inverter that I just got in today. Um, currently have it running my AC system alongside my secondary inverter, which is now running my power system, which goes under that carpet. If you remember my previous video, I've been working on transferring all of these units into here. I'm building somewhat like a power unit. Um, basically, in this room, the batteries and everything are going to be hidden away. I still have uh, some solar power to hook up. As you can see, the wires hanging here. These are just to read the meters that are right there. Um, so that basically I can see the voltage and the power that's coming in. Uh, one cool thing I want to point out about this new inverter that I have in, I'm going to turn it off if you can read it. It probably, it says 117 um, watts. It's running the, the center, uh, a center window unit, which is, which is not a lot of power, but when it turns the compressor on, it, it can draw up to about 2,000 watts. It's not a lot. But one thing I want you to notice is, is this. I'm about to turn the inverter back on, but notice my, my um, voltage, or my amperage, I'm sorry, more so, is slowly dropping. Normally, whenever you turn off a high-powered device and you don't have the setup that I have, it will immediately drop the amps. The reason that mine slowly drops the amps is because it's actually refilling a supercapacitor that is hooked directly up to my inverter. Um, these two inverters are in parallel with each other and then on the other side of that they have a fuse um, and then you have your the supercapacitor bank which is, I don't know if you can see it, it's right here, but it's 5200 um, farads and basically it just keeps from surging on my batteries whenever I have a heavy load that turns on, which is great because my batteries don't immediately drop as soon as you turn it in, um, especially when you have a heavy load. I'm about to turn um, just a couple of things on, but if you don't notice, my voltage on my battery is going back and forth. These batteries have not been hooked up to solar power for at least two days, so they've been they've been kind of dragging, you know. But anyway, I'm turning the uh, the unit on and watch the amps. This is what I want you to, you know, probably pay attention to. Notice that it's slowly growing. The amps are being supplied fully to the AC unit right now. The only reason that the amps are slowly climbing is because the capacitors are actually compensating for the energy that's not coming from the batteries all at one time. So the slow, slowly the amperage um, goes up from the batteries because I have a, this is my battery meter, it's basically reading the amps that's coming from the battery. Um, basically it's just making the um, amps go straight from the surge, um, I'm sorry, the capacitors straight to power the inverter. And now you slowly notice that the battery voltage on the battery starts to drop, which typically as soon as you hit the power on anything, the voltage immediately drops. And because of the supercapacitors, it does not have to, which means longer life for your batteries which means less draw on your batteries all at one time because you know basically that 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 quick start is what um actually deep cycle batteries aren't designed for they're meant to do to give you a long burst of energy without having that sudden charge. You can damage your batteries, sulfate them pretty badly if you have them pulled from the batteries all at one time. And the uh, supercapacitors prevent that. So um, if anybody has any comments or theories on how that works or anything better to say that I have, let me know. But that seems to be very um, efficient when it comes down to my system. Again, watch this. I shut off my system. This is battery voltage, and this is the amps coming off. So I'm going to shut this uh, unit off and watch the amperage slowly drop, which is because the uh, supercapacitors are slowly being refilled. And as it gets closer to being filled, it draws less and less amps. Notice that the battery voltage is starting to go back up because it's not having as much of a draw. It's not as immediate as, like I said, you would if you just were to plug it directly into the batteries, but the benefit is actually the fact that your battery is going to last a whole lot longer with this setup. Um, again, if you have any uh, theories on, or, on how that works, or if you would like to get in contact with me to see what you can do with that project, give me a call or um, shoot me an email on the bottom of the page. Thank you.